Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the International Subscriber Space Station. Yes, you read it in the title, this is the finale. Wait, what? Wait, no, this can't be... I, I swear Harv said that we were going to have many more videos after this. Well, we were. Until I did the International YouTube Space Station module entry, and it took 30 minutes to do that on two frames a second, and I launched this craft, and the and its predecessor, seeing as we are now putting two modules on, not the four, uh, and I did it with three frames per second. Admittedly, it only took 12 minutes, so that's fine, but I think that we have a natural limit imposed by this computer, being one of performance. And it's good, because series that, drag out, series that drag out for a super long time aren't all that fun for me. I, I get a bit bored of them. Um, and we have something very exciting to move on to, which is a moon base. Or a minimus base. Not entirely sure. It may even be a Juna base, you never know. But um, the further away it is, the less variation I can... Uh, less variation can actually occur in the designs. Because if it's more mass, it's going to take a bigger rocket to actually get it to Juno. So yeah, um, I think it'll likely be a moon base. And I want you guys to find an awesome position for it to be. That is your challenge. Go away. Go away. Tell me where I should build this moon base. Here we have the Habitation Living Quarters. Habitation LQ. Submitted by TMA. Thank you very much for the submission. This entire video is at two times speed to make it look a bit more fluid for your, for your tired eyes, I'm sure. Um, and yes, you can see the moon in the background not going there. We have our geostationary altitude accomplished, and now we have to produce. Uh, we have to get our orbital insertion all done properly and rendezvous. Easy enough. Uh, I've set up a maneuver node. And we are now currently turning to point towards it and time accelerating in 3, 2, 1, there we go. So that we can actually um, just start burning as soon as we can. You'll know I didn't you'll notice I didn't put the flight planning to plan out the entire orbit. I just wanted to know where I needed to point. So there we go, we have warped up to the point and we are now thrusting away. We can ex exit that time planning thingy majobby and actually carry on burning. There we go, warping a bit up to the apoapsis, and again, pointing prograde. I've got to say, I'm going to be happy enough to leave behind this station. We're going to keep the same save file, so it will forever orbit unless we need to use it for something. Maybe we'll push it towards the moon, I don't know. Um, but yes, we shall leave it in its orbit. We'll rename the save file to Moonbase or some other witty title. Second challenge as we detach that booster stage that has served us so faithfully. Second challenge, you need to post me a witty title. I mean witty. I mean seriously, go home and like spend sleepless nights. Oh, hi Minmus. Um, yeah, didn't want you. Spend your sleepless nights trying to... <laughs> when you're not playing Kerbal Space Program, at 2 o'clock in the morning, try and think of an awesome title for a moon base, a viewer-submitted ships, or viewer-submitted... Uh, what, what would sections of a base be? It's not exactly modules, that's for a space station. Sections of a land base. Um, facilities? Yes. Viewer-submitted facilities. Doesn't roll off the tongue nearly quite as well, so maybe we can think of some sort of synonym for it, but it works. Yes, I need a witty title for the series. Um, I'm not going to make it ISMB. In, no, IS... IS... Yeah, ISMB. International Subscriber Moon Base. That's just silly. The whole pun was ISSS. You know, like ISS with an extra S. Yeah, that was, that was the idea with that. No, it needs to be something funny and clever. But anyway, we are warping around. We are getting ever closer. Or it is getting closer, to be exact, um, depending, relative, <laughs> relative to us. And we get our encounter just by burning a little. That was a pretty lucky encounter. I wasn't actually intending to get it right off the bat like that. But um, there's these skipped frames as we get within two kilometers or so, and it starts thinking, oh, all these parts, I'm going to have to uh, render these out, aren't I? Yes, you are, computer. Poor, poor computer. I am so glad. I'm buying a new computer, and that would not be possible, or it would not yet be possible, this soon, without you guys and the support of the channel. Uh, what is it? 
we are probably, by the time this goes up, we will definitely be past 8,000 subscribers. Unless I do something colossally stupid and everyone leaves. <laughs> Which I could be prone to do, you know. I get angry. I, I had a flu for a couple of days. I'm glad that only lasted a couple of days. I'm okay to talk again. Which is why the channel went down for about four days. But, but I'm okay now. And, um, yes, it made me very angry and I posted some angry comments. So, <laughs> yes, removed. Um... Here we are, the space station is ever so close. Ever so close. Um, yes, buying a new computer with the support. and the, Basically, you view my videos and my adverts, and I buy good things for the channel. No longer will projects be cut so short because of performance, hopefully, um, depending on the further optimization to the game, obviously. I don't think even the cynical rig could run the international U international YouTube space station without lagging just a little. Um, but yes, I if you are guys are interested in the PC specs, I will likely be posting them soon at some point. Um, if everything go goes well and on target, I should have ten. We should hit that ten thousand mark before I get the computer which is going to be around March time. So there will be likely be a 10,000 subscriber milestone video in which I'll talk about the computer and things going on with the channel and whatnot. All those boring things that you don't actually care about. Concentrate on the gameplay, if that's what you like watching. Uh, and who doesn't, really? We're getting in closer. We are nearly ready to jettison this stage here. Uh, we have a little booster pack. Again, using so much, uh, using so little fuel, we can jettison that. Uh, it is absolutely chock-a-block, full of fuel, full <laughs> of words. Um, and yes, we can, we can sort out our RCS positioning, uh, because we are docking laterally onto a space station that's pointing north. So we can't port point north ourselves, we have to point, is it 90 degrees or 270? I think it's 90 currently. Um, of course, the station will carry on rotating, so we have to do this quick, otherwise we'll have to carry on adjusting. And it actually makes sense here to swap control over to the docking port. Uh, oh, mind the station, Harvey. Mind the station. What's what's left? What's right? Uh, no, I'm not controlling from the docking port. Just push push away away from the station. Don't collide with the station. Don't. Oh, you collided with the probe. Apparently, those communication dishes are actually pretty, uh, pretty strong. I have to say, that was a significant bounce then. Whatever the case, we can control from the docking port and we get our nav balls swapped around. End that full fuel thing. Uh, I should probably be a bit more manage. I should manage the uh, the moon base a bit better, I think, in terms of debris. Make sure they smash into the ground. Just not smashing into the station. They need to smash in very far away from the ground. Ugh. Open up that docking shield. Set it as our target. To swap ships, you can use the square brackets keys. So if anyone comments, how do I swap ships, in the comment section, then you now know. Uh, and you feel foolish for commenting before watching the entirety of the video, don't you? Yes. Anyway, I'm getting the, uh, getting the control sorted out. We are ready to go in for our docking, I think. Hopefully. Um, according to the editor I'm currently viewing this sped up preview in, we have about two minutes till the actual docking, so presumably you have two minutes to enjoy of me just mucking about. And me talking. What else can I talk about? Um, well, well, the next challenge, challenging YouTubers episode, I got a lot of positive feedback from that, and they got a lot of views as well, which is brilliant in helping to promote Matt Dennis. Um, he is going to be uploading the next episode, episode two, in which we build Kerbal Cannons. We compete to see who can launch the cannon the furthest away from the launch pad. Or from the cannon itself, seeing as he did it actually on the space plane runway. Um, you may be surprised by the outcome. But I won't spoil anything for you. Here we are, lining ourselves up laterally. And we just need to burn slightly to the left as soon as we get closer. You can see the prograde marker just coming across onto the pink marker. And we're pretty much lined up. We should be able to burn straight towards it now. Um... The program mark has disappeared. Hang on. Where's it gone? Oh, right. It's because we are basically... There There we go. Yes. Come on, magnetism. Do your work. Do your work. 
Um, I don't know whether the first episode of Kerbal Space Program Permadeath has been uploaded yet, but the Permadeath Space Program is another new series, and that is a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun, actually. I can't wait to record another episode of that. I might do it immediately after this, actually. There's going to be a lot of videos this week, hopefully a lot of videos. Although my internet hasn't been particularly reliable, so I can never be sure. But there we go! There we go. We have the entirety of the International Subscriber Space Station. It is entirely finished. Yeah, it, it's finished, but okay. But it, it is finished as we orientate it to point north and we go into our time lapse. I have to say a massive thank you to everyone who contributed to the project. Without Without your modules this would not have been possible so let's do a bit of a backtrack in episode one we started off with the core submitted by twilight's favorite quill who whom to most of the thanks has to go because he sub he suggested the entire series uh he submitted the core and he is now he has hosted the entire thread um which has been absolutely great, and if he is okay doing so, I will ask him to host the thread for the next moon base. Uh, in episode two, we added an RCS-powered boosterish stagey thingy uh, to the station, kindly submitted by All About PC. In episode three, we have the power plant submitted by Matty G. In episode four, we added on our escape pods, which took me a while, submitted by Dragofur or Dragofur. In episode 5, we have our probes! Those four were submitted by TG Nas, Uchu, which sounds like someone sneezing, M. Guarn, and Flashy Nick. And finally, in episode 6, we finish off with our habitation modules, submitted by TMA. Thank you very much for watching the series and supporting it, and I will see you all next time.